Hi guys! So in today's video, I am going to be telling you every single book that I read in 2023. Alrighty, so I did end up reading 70 books last year. This video isn't going to be me getting into depth about each book, but I am going to be saying the title, who wrote it, and what I rated it. And then if I have any extra feelings about the book, I'll let you know. Alright, so I do have my Goodreads right in front of me. I'm going to try and not stare at it, but if I glance down, that's why. The first book that I read last year was Finding Closure by Jessica Burgos. I gave this one four stars. This is a little poetry book. Um, I'm not into poetry that much, but this book, I saw a few quotes on TikTok and I was like, this is good. I'm gonna get this book. And it was actually, it was pretty good. The second book that I read was The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes by Suzanne Collins. I gave this one five stars, obviously. If you know anything about me, you know that literally my favorite book is Hunger Games, number one. I love the series. Even the movies are pretty good. To this day, I have not seen, even though it's not been out for very long, I have not seen the new Hunger Games movie. I'm scared it's going to ruin my enjoyment of the book. <sighs> I don't know. I've heard it is pretty good, though. So we'll see. Um... The next book that I read, I really got into manga last year, so January was kind of like my my manga month, you know? And then I have, throughout the year, I have a few more inter, interplaced? I don't know. Anyway, the third book I read was Berserk. I'm not going to try and say the author's name because this is my second time filming this video and I couldn't say it then and I still can't say it now. Um, I ended up giving this one four stars. I enjoy it, obviously. Four stars for me, by the way, is a good read. I know a lot of people think like a four star is like meh because it's not a five star. But for me, it's like a four star is like really close to a five star. It just didn't change my life. And I'm not saying that all five stars have to change my life. But it has to give me that that five star feeling, you know. But a four star for me is still like fabulous. Um... Then the next book that I read was Death Note Volume 1. I gave this one five stars. I loved the the uh, TV series. It didn't finish it because then can you even call yourself a book girly if you don't read the book first? So I read Volume 1 and Volume 2. I gave them both five stars. And then I read Berserk Volume 2 and 3. I gave both of those four stars. And then the next book that I read was Uzumaki. I I separated this into volume one, two, and three because I'm like, I'm not just getting one book read, I'm getting three books read. Um, is that cheating? I don't know. <laughs> anyway, so I gave it four stars. Really enjoyed it. This is my first Jinja Ito book that I have read. <laughs> the next book I read was Priest by Sierra Simone. I gave this one four stars. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Spicy, spicy, spicy. Yummy, yummy, yummy. It was such a good book. Honestly, so much fun. And then the next book that I read was Snow White with the White Hair. Uh, I'm not going to pronounce this author's name either. I almost could not find the title of this because on Goodreads, it's not in English. So I was like, I don't remember what this book is called. But I gave that one four stars. I think the first one, I ended up reading the second one as well. I think the first one was a good fun time, but these are all... Are you guys fighting? I have another cat now, by the way. His name is Steve. Also, I don't know if you noticed, I'm in a new place. This is the boyfriend's desk, so it's a little messy. I'm trying to like hide it. But um, yeah, so I don't have a bookshelf behind me anymore because I don't live in my parents' house. The book that I read was Berserk, a volume number four. I gave it one five stars. I must have thought it was like really gory or something. There must have been something that like pushed it up there for me because I must have really enjoyed it. By the way, we are also in February now. Um, I ended up reading Uzumaki Volume 2 and 3 by Jinji Ito. Gave those ones both four stars. Once again, enjoyed it. Jinji Ito is very like spooky and eerie and sometimes gory. So if you like that sort of manga, hop into that. Um, then the next book I read, oh, this started like an obsession. The next book I read was Satan's Affair by H.D. Carlton. I gave this one four stars. This is the first book. First is the prequel novella. Yeah, no, this started my obsession with the Cat and Mouse duet, which I knew I already wanted to read, but if I'm gonna read the book, I'm gonna read every book that comes before it. The book that I read was Praise by Sarah Kate. I gave this one five stars. 
This is the first book in the Salacious Players Club series, which is like, so the Salacious Players Club is a sex club and each book follows each member of the club. And this one, I think you can like take it from the title, uh, what this book is about, but it was, it was, it was good. It was really good. Uh, the next book that I ended up reading was actually a kid's graphic novel. This is, what's it called? Garlic and the Witch by Brie Paulson. I gave this one five stars. It was so cute. The art was so cute. I don't know. It was just, it was just a cute book. Um, and then I read my one and only ever Lucy score book by a thread. Uh, I ended up giving this one three stars. I did not like it very much, clearly, because it was my only Lucy score book I've ever read. Um, yeah, it just was not, just was not my cup of tea. And it was a little too long for its own good, you know? Uh, and then I ended up reading Garlic and the Vampire. By the way, we're in March. I'm doing really terribly. <laughs> we're in March, by the way. The next book that I read was Garlic and the Vampire by Brie Paulson. I gave this one four stars. I like the first one better, but both of them are fun. They're so cute. Uh, and then I read The Liminal Zone by Jinji Ito. I gave this one four stars. I really enjoyed this one again. I think this one's honestly one of my favorite ones that I have read. I've recommended it to a few people now, but yeah, it was good. It was creepy. And then I read Neon Gods by Katie Robert. It's the first book in the Dark Olympic series. I think each one is about like a different Greek god. Uh, I gave this one four stars. It was pretty good. It was a fun time, but I just found the beginning was good and fast and the middle was like, mm, okay, I'm here. Like, I'm going to finish the book. And the ending was pretty good. So that's why I have not continued on in this series. But I guess I rated the first, or the first one four stars. So it must have been okay. March. This is the last book for March. I read Final Offer by Lauren Asher. This is the first book in the Dreamland. <laughs> this is the third book in the Dreamland Billionaire series. I have read number one and two. I did that 2022. Uh, I gave this one five stars. This one was definitely my favorite in the series. It was so good. Second Chance Romance. I've never read one before until this book. It was good. It was, it was so good. And it was just summer and it was just like at the lake and like, it was, it was fun. I'm going to say that for every single book. I'm so sorry. Then first book of April, I read the second volume of Snow White with the red hair. I gave this one three stars. Didn't like it as much. I just think it's a little bit too young for me. And like I said, not too much going on uh, with the plot there. So I was a little bit bored, honestly, um, but it was cute. Then I read Haunting Adeline, which is the first book in the Cat and Mouse duet by H.T. Carlton, by the way. I gave this one five stars. Oh, it was good. It was honestly really good. I think, you know what? I think I ended up giving the second one four stars but I think I like the second one better maybe the first one just hit more you know that sounds so weird but I, I did actually enjoy the second one more maybe I should just maybe I should just reread the whole series um yeah no I loved that book the whole series it was fabulous then the next book that I read was Focused by Carla Sorensen I gave this one four stars I genuinely cannot tell you a single thing about this book. I don't remember it. I don't know why I gave it four stars because it's clearly not that memorable. I feel like I've heard this author is really good though. So maybe, I don't know. That's disappointing. I don't remember it. Then the next book that I read was Savior by Fiona Cole. I gave this one four stars. This is the third book in the third, third book in the Voyeur series. I really enjoyed the first one, especially. I actually still think about that book literally once a week and I read it in 2020 I don't even know why uh it was just it was good uh <laughs> then the next book that I read was Addicted to You by I think it's Krista and Becca Ritchie I think it's two people gave that one four stars it was fun I have not continued on in this series but I'm not saying I'm not going to next book that I read this is the last book in April was The Neighbor Favor by Christina Forrest I gave this one three stars Honestly, I feel like this one was kind of hyped up and it just fell flat for me. It was really, really boring, honestly. And I just, I wasn't invested. I don't even think I liked the main female character. Maybe it was the, I don't, it was, I feel like I didn't, I definitely did not like this book. 
And then the first book that I read in May was Tombs by Jinjito. I gave this one four stars. So then the next book that I read was Tattered Stars by Katherine Cowles. This is my first Katherine Cowles book. I gave it four stars. This is the first book in the Tattered and Torn series. I actually did really enjoy this one. It was just a cute small town. <laughs> It's just a cute small town romance and it was just, I don't know, it was cute, it was good, it was fun. And then I read Censor by Jinji Ito, I gave this one four stars. I think this one's actually one of my favorite Jinji Ito books that I have read. And then I read, oh, this one's a good one. Then I read King of Wrath by Anna Huang. This is the first book in the Kings of Sin series. I gave this one five stars. Oh my gosh, it was so fun. And I was reading this one right as the weather was starting to get really warm at the end of May. Oh, it was a good time. I haven't read the second one yet just because I wasn't like super excited about the um, the main girl who was going to be in that one, but it's still on my TBR. Also, I did read the Twisted series. I read all four literally back to back to back to back, back to back to back to back in 2022. And I, I love those. The third one was definitely my favorite. Um, and then the next book that I read was Dark Notes by Pam Godwin. I rated this one four stars. This one is definitely a dark, dark, very taboo romance. The next book, oh, this is good. The next book that I read is uh, the first book in the Mind Book series by S.T. Abbey. I gave this one five stars. It is five books, but they're all like about 100 or 150 pages long. I still have yet to finish the last one. I have started it. But this series is honestly, it's so good. She is a serial killer taking revenge on people. And he is, I don't know if he's just a police or like, I don't know if he's just a cop or FBI, but he's the one investigating the case. And obviously, they get together. Duh. Oh, it's so good. I really need to finish that book. Oh, Alrighty, so this one is a dark one. This is Still Beating by Jennifer Hartman. I gave it four stars. This one was a heavy hitter. Uh, it was really good. It was, but wow. <laughs> the next book that I read was the second part of the Mind Fuck series. Um, gave that one four stars. Once again, just a great, great story. Then I read, oh my gosh, these cats. I read Dead Inside by Chandler Morris and I gave this one three stars. Honestly, it was good though. It was really gory. I'll probably give it like 3.5. Okay, the door is now open, so it's gonna be louder, so I, I do apologize for that, but my cat needed in. She needed in, okay? Um, anyway, so that book was really dark, really gross, but honestly, it was good, because it was like, the guy was really creepy, obviously, but even at the beginning, before like you knew everything. Um, and then the next book that I read was The Inmate by Frieda McFadden. Don't, don't, don't click off just yet. I know there's a lot of controversy about Frieda McFadden. I think I've read three or four of her books. And then I like started to hear about that she maybe steals other people's stories. Um, so I'm gonna just stay away from her from now on. Anyway, gave that one four stars. I did, I did enjoy it, it was pretty good. And then I read Things Have Gotten Worse Since We Last Spoke by Eric LaRocca. I give two stars. I know a lot of people love this book. I just, honestly, I didn't like it. I found it kind of boring and not even, like, that gross. So, yeah. The next book that I read was uh, the third book in the My Book series. Uh, I gave that one four stars once again. Just love the story. All right, so then after that, we are in June now. I read my first Judith Sonnet. I read No One Rides For Free. I gave this one four stars. This one was so gross, so nasty. It was such a ride, honestly. Oh my goodness. It was a good book. <laughs> then I read Hooked by Emily McIntyre. Excuse me. I gave that one five stars. That's the first book in the Never After series. I really, really enjoyed this one. Uh, anyway, and then I started the second one. Haven't finished it, but it's not like a hard DNF, you know? It's just like, this isn't what I'm feeling right now, you know? Then I read Flawless by Elsie Silver. This one's the first book in the Chestnut Spring series. I gave this one three stars. Honestly, I found this one boring and I really didn't like the male main character. And I know so many people love this series, but not me, I guess. Then I read The Five Second Rule by Mel Robbins. I did not rate this one. 
for whatever reason, maybe because it's like nonfiction. But I, I don't know. I don't know. Um, next, I read The Housemaid by Frida McFadden. I did give this one five stars. Like I said, I really enjoyed it. I feel like I need to read the one that it's either like stolen from or like, you know, based on. I, I don't want to say too much. The last book that I read in June is Icebreaker by Hannah Grace. I gave this one four stars. Now that I'm thinking about it, I feel like I should have given it three because like it was good. It was spicy. It was fun. But I feel like the only slight bit of plot that was in there, them like the ice skating, I feel like nothing happened. Like it kind of started and then they had to like join ranks or whatever. And then they talked about it every once in a while. And they had to like, I don't know, I don't know, anyway. Uh, and then next I read, first book of July, I read Never Lie by Frieda McFadden. I also gave this one four stars. Like I said, I genuinely enjoyed these books. I really, really liked these books. But I feel like it just happened. There's been a few too many rumors. It, you know what I mean. Anyway, and then I read um, Another by Fiona Cole. This is number four in the Voyeur series. I gave this one three stars. Um, I think this one was the, plug your ears, you don't want to hear this, the trope. The accidental pregnancy one. Um, yeah, I guess three stars, whatever. Okay, pause for a second. For some reason, I forgot to put the dates in this book in Goodreads, so it didn't show up when I was looking through all of my books I read last year. It's called Local Girl Missing by Lisa Regan. I ended up giving it three stars. Okay, and now we can move on. Then I read For the Sake Of by Judah Sonnet. I guess on five freaking stars. This book was so good. Oh my goodness. Probably my favorite book of all of last year, honestly. Uh, and then I read Brother by... Oh, by the way, we're in August. We're in August now. <laughs> I read Brother by Anya Alborn. I gave this one four stars. I really enjoyed this. I also read this when I went on like a little trip. So I feel like it made me like remember the trip more and just like, I don't know. It was just, I just had such a good time reading this, honestly. And I read it in August, which I feel like it's kind of, I don't even, I don't know if it's even based around that, but it was just, it was just a good time to read it. So then the next book that I read was Saving Noah by Lucinda Berry. I gave this one four stars. When I was reading it, the whole time I was like, this is three stars. This is three stars. Like, this is heavy content warning for this one. Um, but I got to the end and I bawled my eyes out. Literally bawled. Bawled my eyes out. Oh my goodness. Um, I don't know how Lucinda Berry, like, got into our minds and subconsciously attached us to these shady as characters oh my gosh i bawled my eyes out i think it's just like the 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 content maybe not the people per se but it's, it's sad as hell oh my gosh and then i read the housemaid's secret by freedom McKenna. i gave this one two stars genuinely do not remember this book i have no recollection of reading this book um yeah it clearly wasn't good then I read the fourth book in the Mindfuck series. I gave this one four stars. Um, what more can I say? Need to finish the series. I literally only have one book left. And then, this is my first book of September. Can you guess? Can you guess what my first book of September was? It was Fourth Wing by Rebecca Yaros. I gave this one five stars. It was scrumptious. I think this is one of my first um, fantasy romances. I loved it. I've heard a lot of like, not even controversy, but just like people saying, um that people only love this because this is like their first fantasy, you know? Who cares? Who cares? Who cares? I still had a good time reading it. Who cares? I, just, I still loved it. I have not read the second book. A little more like wary about reading that one just because I've heard that it's not as good. I've heard that it is good. I think it's a five book series. Anyway, and then here, oh, that's the second one okay and then I read Hunting Adeline which is the second in the cat and mouse duet this one I gave four stars but like I said I think that I enjoyed this one more even though this one was like oh so much happened oh my goodness it was a good series then I read Seed by Anya Alborn I gave this one three stars 
honestly I think I prefer their more like gory writing oh, I've only read these two books um, I do have another one I don't remember which one but I have it um, I don't think I enjoyed the paranormal as much and then we're in October now I read Heartstopper Volume 3 by Alice Osman. I gave this one four stars. This one was so cute, so fun. It's just a little teen graphic novel. Then I read Survivor by J.F. Gonzalez. I gave this one four stars. Oh my gosh. Oh, this one was like on par with the second Haunting Adeline book. But oh my goodness, this one is dark, 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 and very morally like what the F is happening. And I read Brutal Prince by Sophie Lark. I gave this one four stars. This is the first book in the Brutal Birthright series. I really enjoyed this. Honestly, it wasn't even like that great of a book either, but it gave me all the feelings that I needed. You know, it, I feel like it pulled me out of that depression. Like it pulled me out of that slump. It was, it was a good book. It gave me, oh, I love that book. And then right after that, I read Stolen Air, also by Sophie Lark. I gave this one four stars as well. This one was, I think, maybe better than the first one, but I think I like the first one more still. Then I read Touched by Sin by Harley Beck. I gave this one four stars. This is the first book in the Sins of the Fallen series. This recommendation was given to me, not personally, unfortunately, uh, given to me by, oh, it used to be, I think it's more to Mary now. It used to be Makeup by Mary. If you go back in my channel, I think three years ago, I posted a video of like doing all of her video, like taboo romances she recommended in one video before. Such a good time. She commented on that. <sighs> I can't, I love it. I feel like just so fangirly, you know? This is a Fallen Angel series, um, romance, dark romance, so good. Then in, oh, I say we're in November. I'm so bad at this. Then I read The Girl Next Door by Jack Ketchum. I gave this one four stars. This one is kind of like a classic horror at this point. Uh, honestly, I did really enjoy it. Maybe more of like a 3.5. Then I read the second book in the Sins of Fallen series, Touched by Darkness by Harley Beck. I gave this one three stars. I did not like it as much as the first one. These books are a little bit long, honestly, but I did not like it as much as the first book. In the series, I feel like not that it was a filler because things still happened, but yeah, it just wasn't my favorite. I have started the third one. I'm just not done it yet. Alrighty, so we're in December now, the last month of the year. This is crazy. I can't believe we're almost through 70. I read Lovesick by John Ethan. I think that's how you pronounce it. It's supposed to be Jonathan, you know, pen names. Cute. I When I found that out, I was like, why didn't I think of that? Like, why didn't I like put two and two together, you know what I mean? Um, I'm gonna say John Ethan. I gave this one three stars, maybe more like a 3.5, but it was so nasty and so gross and like what was happening was just icky, 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 but it was good. I, it could have been a little more nasty, I think, but also not all books have to be like that, you know? That's just how I was feeling. Then I read uh, Heartstopper Volume 4. I gave this one a five stars oh my gosh i cried so many times while i read this oh wow oh my gosh i'm gonna cry again i literally that was oh it was such a good book oh it was so good it was so good then i read number five which is the most recent one i gave that one three stars i did really like it but i think right directly coming off the high of reading number four but honestly like the the books are so good and number four Oh, I love it. And I just love them. What are their names? I think it's Charlie and... I don't, why do I want to say Adam? That is definitely not his name. Nick. Oh! <sighs> They're so cute. I'm gonna die. Anyway. Then I read Love Sickness. See, all of these, I read Love Sick, and then I read two cutesy ones, and then I read Love Sickness, which is Jinji Ito. Gave that one four stars. Once again. Eerie. This one was creepy. It was a lot longer than I actually thought it was gonna be, because I'm used to short stories from Jinji Ito, but this one was really good and there was a few short stories snipped in there at the end and then I read oh I'm, what was I thinking I wasn't thinking that's that's why I read this I read Unhinged by Vera Valentine I think I saw this on TikTok or something like that I gave this one three stars but honestly it was so funny this is an erotic door romance like I said what was I thinking it was it was, it was a little spicy but what was I thinking what was happening what was happening in my brain I did finish it though then I read Magic by Judith Sonnet. I gave this one four stars. These two are both novellas, but this one, 
was actually really good and then my last book of the year i read sardines by judith sonnet i gave this one four stars as well i genuinely really enjoyed this book i feel like i've been trying to stay away from like more slashers like like 80s slashers themed books but after reading this one i feel like i might enjoy them because it was just gross 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 kids camp like it was fun it was it was good Anyway, if you guys made it this far into the video, I appreciate you and I hope you guys enjoyed. I am going to keep a little part of the end just explaining where I've been the last two years, I think. Um, so you can keep watching that if you'd like or you can click off now and I hope to see you next time. Bye. If you decide to stay to hear about where I've been and what I've been doing, I don't exactly have a scripted list to go off of, but I guess I should just kind of start from the beginning. Um, so uh, the big reason that I stopped making YouTube videos is that I started university. Um, I got accepted into the Bachelors of Science program and I had really great grades, graduated valedictorian and everything like that. I did one semester. I was there every single day. This is, mind you, this is like intermixed with COVID, right? So I'm in school from dark to dark because I have labs and whatnot. And then I have to go home and I have to do online classes. So it was a lot, okay? And I know university is a lot, okay, I know. I feel like this is kind of vague, but the short answer is I dropped out of school. But yeah, still not in school. I am working and I do have my own place. Yeah, I guess that's just like kind of the short and sweet version of where I've been. I don't wanna to get too much into it because it was, it was definitely a really hard time for me, especially going through having to like be like, oh, I f I'm a failure now because I'm not going to university or like, oh, all the kids that I went to school with are going to be graduating university soon with their degree. So yeah, that's definitely something hard and I'm still struggling with it, you know, it's still a bad thought, but I am, I'm still 20. I don't even turn 21 for another two months. So I have time and if I decide to go back in 20 years, then that'll happen. If I don't, then it won't happen because we're just on this earth to live, okay? Th that's all we're here for. I just want to be happy, you know, do what feels right for you. Oh my gosh, am I a motivational speaker? I think yes. New YouTube channel. And if you decided to stick to the end of this video, I really appreciate you. And I hope that you have a great day. Bye.